when I'm swimming fast breaststroke, mentally what I'm trying to picture is that I could almost get into a cross position with my body flat on the water and my arms at 180 degrees. And my next instant is when I go for my in-sweep that my upper body and legs are gonna follow a path over that point. Most of your weight is obviously in your core and you're gonna wanna balance your core to feel that your legs and arms are just along for the ride and that they are just part of the stroke. The sense that I'm going through when I'm swimming breaststroke is that I want to be as long and have the least amount of drag possible and I want to be as high on the surface as possible because this is obviously my fastest position in the stroke. Mentally the image that I'm trying to get is that I want my body to come out and over the water with my hands below it after having a strong hold and then immediately get into that long line position. So each time I want to replicate that, and our goal is as fatigue sets in, we want to continue to replicate this as it would look in the beginning of the race compared to the end of the race. A visual that I try and reproduce is an anchoring of the legs and arms, and I'm just moving my body through those anchors. It's almost like if I were to have rings on the water that I would reach out and grab and pull my body through continually. And I want to do that at the least drag efficiency. I want to pull my body through the water and use the central part of my body as a strong aspect. Breathing has to be thought about, otherwise it becomes forced. You won't take your breath until you really realize you need it. And by that time you've gone into oxygen debt and it's probably too late. The important thing I think with breathing is that you don't create your breathing pattern with your head. You have an opportunity to breathe every stroke and that can't be created by moving your head back and forth to get it out of the water. You have to maintain the back of the neck, the back and the knee line. You have to maintain that straight line. So when I think of breathing, I'm gonna be coming out over the water. You know, I'm not gonna be looking for it, I'm gonna be looking over my hands and getting that breath right as I come out of the water and then returning back to that long line position that we're talking about. So there's no head movement bobbing up and down to get air because again that's going to cause my hips to sink behind it. For every action there's a reaction. If I lift my head my hips are going to sink and we're getting back to that plow position. So ideally we're keeping that line together that we're always looking for. I like to repeat to myself, kick your hands forward. That gives me a sense of not lifting too high out of the water and plowing, but allowing my kick to push me over top of that anchoring position and return to that long line position. So that's what I'm really trying to think about when I'm swimming is get over my hands with my kick and continue to do that in a full range of motion start to finish in a race. The goal is always to maintain a small knee integrity where I'm only minimally allowing my knees to separate rather than in an outward position which would cause more drag and to have the maximum amount of ankle catch possible and, and we mimic that through tons of drills, foot resistance in the water, any position that we can get in that would mimic that, even push it beyond what my normal kick would be, I think translates to the water. A lot of that's done through stretching through surgical tubing, through drills, through vertical kicking. We do all these drills that force that issue so I can remember it and it becomes a second nature to me when I swim full breaststroke. Look at that stroke, nice and long. Take advantage of that strong kick pad. The kicking aspect of breaststroke is the most important aspect. That's where you're going to maintain your long line with a lot of power behind you. The stronger your kick, the longer you're going to be able to stay in that position.